Hey there guys and welcome back to Jurassic the Hunted. In the last episode we fought a T-Rex and now we're in a cave looking for the uh, German submarine still and looks like it's right bloody there. This must be the sub that Doc was talking about. Now, where's that TVE? No, Dylan, I'm sure he was talking about some other ancient submarine that's stuck in a cave somewhere. How the hell did this thing even get here? Did one of the portals just bam drop it off in this cave? Also, I have to be honest here, this cave looks like a prime boss battle area. I don't know, maybe we'll be finding some giant scorpion or something. You never know, I mean, this place has been teeming with them. So who knows what kind of boss fight they'll cook up. Or like a giant spider will drop down from the ceiling. I really hope it's not that because I hate spiders. Really, really do. Oh damn, place is getting foggy. Must be all the shrooms I'm blowing up. I just don't want to be risky. Like those shrooms, they might be a problem. Also, if I recall correctly, there was a trophy for destroying a certain amount of these mushrooms. So, can you blame me for trying to shoot all of them? Oh, there's a couple. And one over there. And... Nope, think that's... Oh, there's another one. And over there. Nice. Okay. Oh, nope. Still one over there. I think that should... Oh, no. One over there. How did I miss that one? That one's right in plain sight. Okay, think that's all the mushrooms. Or is that one? Nah. Oh, there. How did I miss that one? Oh, there's a turret. Yep, definitely, probably some sort of boss fight. Anyway, we have the device. I've got to find a way to get this TVE thing back to camp. Simple, just go back the way we came. Oh, boy, scorpions. Well, no giant ones. Yet. Who knows? I mean, there were plenty of pterodactyls swarming around in the T-Rex fight. So maybe there could be plenty of tiny scorpions swarming around in the big scorpion fight. But then the big scorpion would have probably shown up by now. Also, I kind of regret popping all those mushrooms now because they could have been used as weapons. Just shoot them when a scorpion's right next to them and blow them sky high. I wonder... Are there actually, like, explosive mushrooms in real life? Like, if you step on them, they release this big, poofy cloud of spores or something that's, I don't know, harmful, toxic, lethal? I guess toxic and lethal are kind of the same thing, more or less. Uh, it doesn't really seem like there's any big creature gonna show up. It just seems like another horde mode against a bunch of tiny enemies. Not that I have a problem with that. Hey, Scorpion King, that's... Uh, isn't that... I think that's a reference to that one terrible movie that had that WWE guy in it. Uh, was that The Rock, or was that some other guy? I honestly don't really know any wrestlers. I know The Rock, because he's been in some other terrible movies. I know Hulk Hogan, because how can you not have heard of bloody Hulk Hogan? And I know uh, Dave Batista because he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. And we're done. Awesome. Okay, how do we get up there? This looks like a path. And I haven't been here yet, so... Definitely looks like it leads up that... Or not. Okay. Maybe we need something on the submarine. How do we... Oh, oh, I think we have to get on top of that ledge. We can go through there. Can we get up there from somewhere? Or, oh, wait, hang on. That looks like a hole big enough for me to go through. Yeah, this is probably it. Yep, saving on the right track here. I doubt there's multiple... Oh, bloody hell. Where am I now? Oh, of course. Well, I'll take these over the tiny raptors. Those were a much bigger pain in the ass. Pew, 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 pew. Dead. Okay. Anything else in here other than scorpions? Doesn't really look like it. 
Still kind of wondering what the deal is with these giant scorpions. I mean, did prehistoric scorpions look like this? Just exactly like modern scorpions, but bigger? Oh, hey, look, grenades. And some ammo for one of the guns I'm packing. Oh, jeez. Careful with that stinger, buddy. You don't want to get that stuck in something, and then you'll be forced to snap it off. Oh, does that happen with scorpions? I know that happens with bees and their stingers. I don't, I've never heard of any scorpions killing themselves when they sting something. I know bees do, because if a bee stings you and rips off the stinger, it leaves behind like part of their guts. They're attached to the stinger. So basically, they can only sting once, and then they die. What a way to go, though. Imagine if you had some sort of body part that you could use as a lethal weapon, but it would rip all your guts out if you use it. Would you use it, then? How extreme would the situation be for you to break that weapon out? Anyway, nuking some scorpions or grenading them, and... Oh, shit. Oh, now we're playing with portals. I, I've i played Portal 2 co-op with a friend for a bit, and we there were definitely some interesting puzzles in there. Requiring the use of portals to, like, cause you to drop continually. Just build up huge amounts of speed and then launch yourself across the room, and is that a Triceratops? Finally, we get another herbivore, and once again, it's another dead one. Why can't we have live herbivores for once? Come on, raptor. Oh, crap. Did that shot go between his legs? Oh, jeez. Where the hell did all of those come from? Way outnumbered. And into a corner. And I'm dead. Wow. You die pretty damn fast against a large horde of enemies. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, let's give it another go. Gotta load up all the guns again as well. Bloody hell. Uh, maybe I should take him out at long range. Seems like a bit of a better idea, because if I get in too close, all the other ones are just going to swarm me. Okay, pew pew pew. Got him. Where are the other ones? You'd think the bullets would have alerted him to my presence. Or, I guess if you let this one summon reinforcements, then all the other ones show up. But because I didn't... Then we're not getting any reinforcements. Hmm. Fairly decent looking Triceratops, I suppose. I've seen worse. Not really... The skin texture... Looks kind of iffy. Also, that corpse looks remarkably mint. Despite it being killed by a raptor and... Chewed upon. Okay. Oh, going back into the caves, it seems. I wonder if we're going to get any more scorpions. What do we have here? Ammo for the machine gun. I'll take it. Up we go. Not really a lot, an awful lot of enemies in the in these parts. Not that I mind. It's, it's nice to have a little bit of peace and quiet now and then. Oh, here comes another one. Oh! Did I just get him with one shot? Adrenaline junkie. Okay, that has something to do with the adrenaline. I don't know. Maybe get a certain number of kills in adrenaline mode. Oh, there's a couple. Eating another dead herbivore. I actually looked up what those are called. So I know now. They're Pachycephalosaurus. They were in Jurassic Park 2. I think, but not in one or three. I have fond memories of Jurassic Park 2. That was like one of the first movies I've ever seen in theaters. Even though I was only, I think like five or six years old at the time. Yep, that's responsible parenting for you. Hey, let's take our five-year-old to see Jurassic Park 2. I don't recall it being an awfully gory movie, though. There was that one guy being ripped in half by the T-Rexes. That was kind of nasty. But I don't really... And I do recall this very terrifying scene where the raptor jumps out of the tall grass right onto this screaming guy. That was pretty scary. I think that kept me up a few nights afterwards. 
But overall, I'd say there are worse movies that your kids could be watching. Like Saw or something. I've never actually seen one of those. I've only seen trailers, but they're pretty damn gruesome. I'm not really into gore that much. I mean, sure, I, I laugh and applaud it when it happens in, oh jeez, in God of War, but that is just a, no, a lot less realistic than something like Saw. Like, I can handle gore if it's, if they're kind of taking the piss out of it. Yo, know, this is an awfully narrow cave. No enemies, please. Really wouldn't like that. <laughs> oh, you fat lizard. Okay, who fell for that jump scare? Freaking big dinosaur. Kind of looked like a Spinosaurus to me. So they're kind of hopping on the Jurassic Park 3 bandwagon, I suppose. Whoa! Yay, live herbivores! It's a whole herd of live Pachycephalosauruses, and they're running away, presumably from the Spinosaurus that's outside. What do we have? Pterodactyl? Ah! Bitch. Okay, this is definitely... We are... Oh, it's just pterodactyls. We are definitely going to run into that Spinosaurus in here. Nope. Do not want to go with that. I'm just following the Pachycephalosauruses. Screw that. Not fighting a Spinosaurus. Can't handle that. It's the Supreme Predator. Supposedly. Even though I've heard of recent research that hints that it was actually semi-aquatic and not really an apex predator at all. Anyway, let's upgrade this thing's magazine. And, ooh, hello. This ought to even the odds a decent amount. Five rockets. That should be enough to kill a Spinosaurus, right? I mean, how many rockets does it take to uh, destroy a tank? Like, I'm not, I'm not sure. I've never seen that happen in real life. But I would say against something organic that's the size of a tank or bigger, I'd say it probably would be more effective than against a tank made of solid metal. So, yeah. In the next episode of Jurassic the Hunted, we will step out onto that plane and face our destinies. And probably get killed a whole bunch of times. So, thanks for watching. See you guys then. Don't miss it. Bye-bye.